we're asked to evaluate the limit if possible. We have the limit of the given function as x comma y approaches five comma 11. Notice at the point five comma 11, the denominator is five minus 11 plus six, which is zero. And therefore the function has discontinuity at the point we are approaching. But remember this does not mean the limit does not exist. It just means we cannot find the limit by performing direct substitution, at least with the function in its current form. But as we saw in previous examples, we can opt to perform algebraic techniques to change the function so that we can then determine the limit by performing direct substitution. And this is another example of one of those functions where we can factor, simplify, and then find the limit by performing direct substitution. Looking at the numerator, we have a difference of cubes, and therefore we'll begin by factoring the numerator. The difference of cubes formula is shown here below, where in our case, a is equal to x minus eight, and b is equal to y minus 14. So starting with the original function, we will factor the numerator, where we begin with a minus b, which in our case is the quantity x minus eight minus the quantity y minus 14. And then we have times a squared, which in our case is the square of x minus eight plus a times b, which is plus the quantity x minus eight times the quantity y minus 14, and then plus b squared, which in our case is the square of y minus 14. The denominator stays the same. And now let's simplify this first factor in the numerator. If we clear the parentheses, we have x minus eight minus y plus 14. And notice negative eight plus 14 is equal to six, leaving us with x minus y plus six, which is also a factor in the denominator. And therefore we'll be able to simplify. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. The first factor is now x minus y plus six We'll leave the second factor in its current form. And again, we can now see we have a common factor between the numerator and denominator. The quantity x minus y plus six divided by itself simplifies to one. And now I can use this simplified function to determine the limit of the original function. The original limit is equal to the limit of the quantity x minus eight squared plus the quantity x minus eight times the quantity y minus 14 plus the quantity y minus 14 squared. And performing direct substitution, we have the quantity five minus eight squared plus the quantity five minus eight times the quantity 11 minus 14 plus the quantity 11 minus 14 squared, which is equal to the square of negative three plus negative three times negative three plus the square of negative three, which is equal to nine plus nine plus nine, which is equal to 27. The given limit is equal to 27. I hope you found this helpful.